Hello. Uh, recently I was asked several times how I read tree cards. So I guess it should be a good subject to talk about today. Uh, but first, before we start looking at uh, how it is done, it might be interesting to know where I'm coming from when I'm reading this way. Uh, it might give you an idea. Uh, first of all, I have to say uh, that uh, being uh, from Europe, French being my native language, I started reading with uh, the Tarot de Marseille, majors only. And uh, as I live in the United States since about 25 years now, at uh, some point I had to look at uh, what people were talking about here, the, the right of weight. Uh, it was before all these Facebook groups and so on. Uh, I don't remember exactly when I got my first right of weight. It was maybe... Uh, 2004, 2005, and uh, at the same time, about the deck, I bought two books. First one was Richard Pollack, uh, 78 Degrees of Wisdom, which gives you a good uh, idea of what the meaning of the cards could be. And uh, I bought also this book I'm going to show you. Uh, it's uh, Robert Place, Tarot, History, Symbolism and Divination. Very great book. And in it, uh, in the last chapters, he describes his reading method, which is basically how he reads three cards. And uh, that's really what started to influence me a lot in the way I read three cards too. I started reading like him, and later on, of course, I updated to my style, but uh, all the basis of what I'm doing is coming from this book. Uh, very interesting one. If you don't find it, uh, there is a new one from him where he explains also the same method. It's a quite recent book, easy to find. Uh, uh, the first one he was describing, I believe, six patterns. In here there are seven, but uh, in, in a way it's about the same thing. So it's a very interesting one to, to get and uh, to read. Very deep into history. Uh, I really like it. So basically I started reading that way around 2000, 2000, well, 2004, 2005. And uh, I use extensively the right away it's made, until I don't remember exactly, uh, 2011, 2012 or somewhere about. Uh, then uh, I went back to the Marseille for a while and uh, last year, I don't know why, uh, I went back to this deck and I really love, love reading it with it. It's like uh, something mature, not using it during all these years and uh, now I just saw it with different eyes and I really like uh, reading with this deck. Uh, so, this is basically where it comes from. So, this is where my reading method is coming from. Since then, I saw also that quite a lot of people are using the same kind of uh, way of reading. Uh, you get uh, Enrique Enriquez, Camelia Elias, they're both doing it with Marseille, Joachim Bendoff, and uh, also recently I saw Tim Benjamin, Tom Benjamin reading the same way. So. Without more history, let's, de let's go into and let's look at what's going on. So, the first thing which is very important when you look at three cards like this is uh, not to do it conventionally. Like, uh, for instance, what you see often with three cards is stuff like past, present, future, what's working for you, what's working against you, advice and all stuff like that where cards are read one by one. Uh, this is not exactly how you read three cards in uh, the way I do. Basically, you consider all three cards to be a whole, so not separate. It's like everything is contained together, like you would see a painting or a picture. And uh, in that case, you're not going to look at uh, the left, the right, the middle. Uh, you, you try to look at everything together and what's going on. And uh, when you do stuff like that, for instance, uh, you, see, you see different ways of reading these three cards. Like, for instance, uh, here, you see really the action is going from the left to the right. So I'm not going to read them one by one uh, to start with. I'm going to look at the whole of the picture and see exactly what's going on, where the action is going, uh, that kind of stuff before I'm going deeper into the interpretation. Like here, for instance, like I said, uh, we can see that uh, 
the man here is going to the right. The rider here, the skeleton on the horse, uh, is really the horse is really going from the left to the right, and uh, here the person is going looking to the left, but moving to the right. So all the action is going this way. So basically we would read this from left to right, like uh, we could say uh, in a few words, I'm not going to go deep into readings because it would depend on the interpret on uh, the question, for instance, on the context. Uh, I'm just here to show how to frame the reading, uh, up to you to, to put all the details, and that's what I do also. Uh, first I frame it, then I look at all the details to add to the interpretation, but here basically what we can see is uh, person here is leaving eight cups, moving, and probably going through some kind of transformation here, which is going to be very beneficial for him. So that's basically what the frame of the reading is here. Like Everything is going this way, and that's the most important, that's how I would read this. That's also when I have no uh, indication of uh, doing something else. By default, I always read left to right. But if we take some other ways, uh, some other cards, for instance, like these ones. You look here, for instance, you see what? The horse is going to the right. The horse with the rider. The, the man in the middle is looking to the left. So basically we can see here the, the action is really going the, from the right to the left. In that case, I will see a, read this in a linear way, but the, the other way that we did before, like here you see that maybe uh, rushing too fast, like the, the, the action is happening here, maybe it's uh, something that's going to request to maybe stop and look forward at what can be done, to maybe go to a more skilled approach. That's one way of seeing it, and there are probably others. And it's just uh, to tell you exactly how to go from left, to, from right to left here. But uh, details uh, up to you. It's just uh, the frame of what is going on here. Next pattern, which is uh, interesting, is what is called the choice. You could say that. Contrary to here, for instance, where you see uh, really like here, the horse is going there. If you take a card like this one, what do you see instead is, uh, I'm going to put the two cards so you can see. These two people are back to back. Back to back means uh, they're really in opposition. Complete opposition, meaning in that case, uh, what's going to happen? The person in the middle, which is always the card I look at first to see what's going on in these actions. So the person in the middle is really going to reject what's going on on the right. And back to back means uh, I don't want to see it. I'm going away from, the, from what's going on here. And I'm going to favor the other option, the other card. So here we could say that uh, maybe instead of uh, accepting a too big, too big a road to do some work, I'm going to think uh, how Forward, going forward, I could probably uh, use a, some, a more skillful approach, something that would be uh, lighter to do, uh, maybe easier than uh, really uh, bending my back, uh, killing my back uh, with too much. It's basically how it would be. This is the choice, which is very important here, the choice uh, that you can see here, that going for an option instead of the other one. So going back to this, let's see the other pattern, which would be what uh, Robert Place calls meeting. Meeting is when two energies here are meeting together. As you can see here, uh, contrary to, to the previous card, which was uh, looking straight at us, for instance, uh, this one uh, we see we the two cards uh, trying to go the same direction. To, in the, at the same point in the middle, let the two going really to meet. So we could say here that after some initial work, which was very active, uh, there is some more planning, which is done at the same time that planning is going to be able to join uh, the energy of the six of wands, which is basically getting the support and to get some kind of uh, 
celebration, uh, victorious action from these two. So it's kind of, uh, you see the two are going together here. So this is the most pattern, the most important patterns I can see for the moment. And maybe sometimes you can see also that uh, several of them can be together. That's absolutely fine too. Uh, there's another, another one, for instance, would be uh, if we looking at that, this one, like uh, for instance, uh, we get here a choice and a meeting. That's absolutely fine. It is great to read that way. Because what's going on here uh, that uh, planning uh, for long term, like the, the two of ones is doing, for instance, uh, is going, the person is going to reject a load which is extremely heavy here, to mo going more into the energy of the six of ones, which would be more like uh, bringing support with the person uh, so uh, that uh, the work would be much easier to be done. So mixing the two together is absolutely fine. There's absolutely no problem. Uh, now we can see another pattern, something which is absolutely different. Like if you find a card like this one in the middle, for instance, where you don't see the person going left or right, uh, you have absolutely no idea where it's going, uh, you could see several things happening. Like here, for instance, you see the energy of the card in the middle going into two directions, the two sides. It's what Robert Place called the central origin. You see, really, here we have a person which is uh, trying to do a choice. Two options are there. So two options, maybe the two options are good. And maybe it uh, would be good to, to, to think here and to go into the two directions at the same time. So this is basically one way of seeing it. Another way that you could find into a reading also is this one. Or you have two different approaches which are going to join in the middle. So it's kind of the two are going to, to a central destination here in the middle. Like uh, these two energies are going to require a choice and maybe deciding uh, which one of these approaches is the right one or maybe uh, going to force the person to, to decide something. So that's basically the most important patterns up to here. Uh, the most important things you could do in reading. Of course, there are some other ones that Robert uh, Place explains in his book that I find uh, very well, not so interesting, uh, like his central teacher, and don't you really, really use that kind of patterns. It's mostly the ones I use here that I show you. Of course, uh, common sense is sometimes very important. Uh, like, uh, for instance, uh, if you were to find something like this, we can see, of course, that uh, turning the back to, to this option is going to long term bring this which is probably not good because the hangman, the, the person is going to be stuck thinking long term here because the person rejected uh, a too heavy load. So that might be interesting at the time to explain to, to the consultant that uh, this might be more interesting uh, long term, even if it's not, if it doesn't look like the best option to start with. So it's kind of you see sometimes blocks in reading like this, uh, or the Five of Cups, or a ca card like this, which is really uh, sucking the energy from the reading. So you might use it also to, to decide a little bit uh, that uh, common sense tells you that even if that person is looking here, sometimes it's not the best solution. Sometimes the best solution is to do something else. Up to you to see this. Just. What I wanted to show with this is mostly uh, what could be done, how you could read three cards together. And like I said, the most important thing is really to look at the middle card when you start and look at where the action is going. It's not uh, really uh, like uh, past, present, future and so on. It's really three cards together. Huh? You look at this, for instance, and what's going on, uh, maybe better to rush then taking too much at once. Uh, you see ten ones here, you see only one on the on the horse. 
So it's maybe much better to, to, to rush with one action when, instead of doing too much at the same time. But you see, it's uh, you look at the three cards together, you look at all the action together, you don't separate them, you don't start... The most important also, I believe, is not to start with uh, definitions. Just uh, when you look at this, look like it's an image uh, or a picture, don't think about that card means this, that card means that. That's something that can be done later, of course, when you want to interpret, and it would be interesting to complete the, in the, the interpretation, of course, but that's not something you start with, that's uh, for late, much later. First thing you start with is, uh, like I said, try to understand what's going on in these three cards. Where the action is going, where is it flowing, who gets control, who, and that kind of details. And, uh, well, we'll do a few examples another time. Uh, from here we can build uh, much larger spreads uh, where each position would be three cards, for instance. We'll talk about it one of these days. But I uh, think that's it for today. So thank you very much for your time. Uh, see you in a few days.